it's here. It's finally here. And it was delivered by the postmaster himself today. Very impressive. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we are going to begin the process of getting into 3D printing. Because what I've got here is the ANET A8 3D printer. And this was provided for us free of charge by our good friends at Banggood. This is an incredible value in a 3D printer, and I've heard nothing but good things about it. So we're going to do a multi-part series on putting this guy together. I'm not sure how many parts it's going to take because I don't know how long it's going to take me to put it together. But we're definitely going to find out. So here we go. This is the first layer of the box. And in it we have, I believe this is the uh, print bed support. And the print bed itself. Some tools, we've got some flush cutters. Uh, flathead screwdriver, Phillips wrench, and some Allen keys. Some wiring. Some more wiring. We got some micro switches in there. Those must be our limit switches. More wiring. Lots of screws and hardware. A small bag of filament PLA, I am assuming. And totally the wrong power cord. Well, there's ways around that. Okay, we've got some acrylic parts here. And these are look like to be our linear bearings. Lots of those. On to the next layer. Okay, we have more acrylic parts. These are the uh, main frame parts, I'm assuming. And guys, I have absolutely no experience with 3D printing, so <clears throat> what you're gonna see me do here is uh, go through this at the very first time. Here we have a little fan and a heat sink, USB cable, some tooth belt, uh, the USB drive, not sure what's in here, oh okay, main board. And then this one is the display. And a lot more parts. So I'm going to unpack the rest of these parts and then we'll get into this a little further. So there's a look at everything unpacked. There's all the acrylic frame pieces, the tools that they sent, the power cord, and then taped to the outside of the box was one of these, uh, what Big Clive calls electrocute adapters, some filament, screws, the hotbed, some wiring, our fans, there's the extruder. 
our motors, linear bearings and rods, some supports, I think that's for directing the fan, and our electronics. So yeah, that is quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to get started building it. All right, so I am uh, beginning the assembly. And everything appears to go together with the tiny little screws and nuts. Coming in these holes, which I don't know how I'm going to get my big fingers to cooperate. There we go. So they go in there like that. And then they just get screwed in. And there is a great deal of this that is going to be going on here. And uh, I'm not going to make you watch me do it all. Once I have all these parts of the frame screwed together, I'll be back. All right, the main frame is assembled. It took a total of 12 screws and nuts, a pair of tweezers, and a screwdriver. And it took me a little over 10 minutes. I am mechanically inclined. If you are not, you might take a little bit longer. So, on to the next step. Okay, 30 minutes later, I have these top wing looking pieces on. And the back support with the motor. And the limit switch for the Y axis. So the Y bit is mostly complete. The linear bearings are on and I am about to mount this support for the bed. That's about 45 minutes from the last report. Okay total time on target has been about five hours and I'm gonna call it a night. We've got the uh, y-axis bed in, the belt, we've got the z-axis motors in, everything seems to be good so far. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. So here's as far as I've gotten for today. We have the frame constructed. We have this bed in place with the belt. We have the Z-axis parts on. And we have the X-axis. And that's where I'm going to call it a day. Definitely more to come in future videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and a big thank you to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.